we now have the perfect storm for disease. We've been warning about this UNICEF, the World Health Organization, for weeks. That perfect storm is, is beginning. Uh, and that is because this massive influx of people with no, absolutely nowhere to go. So the real risk now, the horrendous numbers of thousands and thousands of children killed, continually being killed, as you and I speak, risks being matched by deaths from disease. That's what we get when they're pushed to these zones that are anything other than safe. Uh, IDF would counter that by saying there is a stretch of land close to the sea in the southwest of the Strip, um, which is about 14,000 kilometres, something like that, square kilometres, um, and that it is a safe place for Gazans to be. I've spoken to other people who say there is literally nothing there, there's no infrastructure, there is nothing that will allow people to live there safely. Do you know this area? What can you tell us about it? I do. It's called Amawasi. It's exactly 1K by 14, so 14 square kilometres. It makes up about 4% of Gaza, Gaza being one of the most densely populated places on the planet. So it's about 4% of Gaza and it would require 80% of the population to be there. If you imagine a car park of people stacked on top of each other, still without a toilet, still without a drop of water. So here you would absolutely have have zones that are zones of disease and would become, in any same projection, zones of death. So it's such an important narrative to, to break, this idea that people can just go to a safe zone if they wish. There is absolutely nothing safe about this. And I think, Kay, to be honest, those, those people making these decisions and telling people to go there, they're aware of that. It, this is calculated. It, it's cold, uh, and it speaks to the indiscriminate nature and the the, the 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 lack of any sense of any sense of decency that has been uh, enacted on relentless attacks on mums and kids and families.